spring! Welcome back to Mrs. Holson's Neighborhood. Ruff and I were just out smelling flowers, but it was a struggle because Tomato likes to eat them. I think flowers are amazing. They give me hope and they make me feel really positive about spring. Are you ready for warm-ups? Time to get up. I'll give you five seconds to get up. Five, four, three, two, one. Rising up. I think since we're all going a little stir crazy inside that we're gonna do crazy eights this week. So let's get our hands ready to shake. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 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 Seven, Six five four three two one. 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 Three two one. Three two one. Three two one. Three, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 zero. All right, time for tongue twisters. Get ready. We had a lot of great tongue twisters this week. Some of them even sent in by you. All right, let's tackle those tongue twisters. Our first one comes from our friend Sarai. Blueberry bagels barnacles. Blueberry bagels barnacles. Blueberry bagels barnacles. Blueberry bagels barnacles? That's a tricky one. Thanks, Sarai. How about this one from our friend Rosie? It even has Rosie's name in it. Rosie reads royal receipts. Oh, we should do that royally. Rosie reads royal receipts. Rosie reads royal receipts. I wonder what her receipt is for, don't you? She must have bought something interesting. Rosie reads royal receipts. Thanks, Rosie. The next one has a lot of words in it that start with C. C is a very important letter, you know. Why? Because C is for cookie. Here we go. Crisp crusts crackle and crunch. 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 Whew, that one's tricky. Thought we'd get out some old friends today. How about Unique New York? Unique New York. Unique New York. You know you need Unique New York. You know you need Unique New York. I always end up saying you nork. <laughs> How about this one? Wide red wagon. Wide red wagon. Wide red wagon. I want to ride the wide red wagon. Hey, we could do that. We could go right out and take a walk today and ride in a wagon. That'd be awesome. Go take a walk later. And it is a tongue twisters without toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Great job. Let's reach way up and grab, how about a flower? Boy, that smells really good. And then we can relax together. It's Pokemon time. It's Pokemon time. It's Pokemon time! Do you remember that we were talking about flowers at the beginning of today's episode? Flowers have powers! Hey, that rhymes! Hee <laughs> hee! So guess what's blooming as today's Pokemon? Ta-da! It's Flababy! Oh, Flababy! 
Flababy kind of looks like a flower. Flababy draws out and controls the hidden powers of flowers. What powers do flowers have for you? I know they cheer me up and make me feel so happy about life and growing. This week, we are going to go crazy for warm-ups. Oh wait, we did that. We're going to have Pokemon time. Well, that's just blooming wonderful. And we're going to talk about props. And do you want an extra game? Cool, because you can come and sign up on the Drama Game Time form. You can point your camera right at this QR code. Just put it on camera mode. You don't have to download any scanners. Point it right at the QR code and that will open up a form where you can sign up to come play with me live on Google Meet. I can't wait. Today in Mrs. Holson's neighborhood, we're gonna talk more closely about props. Props, lots of props. Exactly, Ruff. Huh? Do you remember our Wild Things Day when we read Where the Wild Things Are and talked about sets, props, and costumes? Props show what is happening in the story. Oh, what? 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 Ruff. Yes, exactly. Props are the objects that the characters hold to help them get their goals or sometimes to create obstacles for the other characters. I noticed that our Pokemon was holding a flower today. That is totally part of her goal, to find the hidden powers of flowers. I still like that rhyme. Are you tired of it yet? Sorry. But can you think are there some other characters you know that have props that give them powers? I got it. Let's play a game. Ruff! I'll show you a prop and you tell me which character uses it. Are you ready? Ruff! I'm ready. Cool. I hope you're ready too. Let's see whose prop is this. Hmm, are you worthy? That's right. If you happen to know Marvel characters, you would know that that one belongs to Thor from Marvel Universe. You have to be worthy to pick that one up. Mr. Rogers can do it. Can you? Hey, Tomato, who always likes to eat things, do you recognize this prop? That's right. That's another friend of ours who always likes to eat things. That prop is a honey jar that Pooh likes to eat from. Silly old bear. Sometimes he gets his head stuck in there. You better be careful with things like that, Tomato. That is not a small head you have, is it? How about this one? That was like magic. This prop is magic too. I remember a character that holds this and rubs it and then another character appears. Do you know who it is? That's right. That's Aladdin's magic lamp. Our friend the genie lives in there. You've never had a friend like him. Then let's see. How about this one? Another Marvel character? I like Marvel too. Hmm, whose shield is that? Hint, it's made in Wakanda out of vibranium. That's right, that is Captain America's shield. Super cool. Ruff. Yeah, ruff. But not all the props we're going to look at today are from heroes. What villain uses this prop? Hmm, that one's actually kind of a costume too, isn't it? Interesting, because you can wear it, but since it comes off, I hope it's also a prop. Do you know about Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet? That's pretty excellent. Do you know, we've spent a bit of time on heroes and villains, but there are lots of props in other universes. Oh, sometimes I really wish I had this one. 
you recognize that one? Hmm, if you're stuck on this one, maybe you should check with Miss Brown because she knows everything about this universe. That's right. That prop belongs to Hermione Granger. That's her time turner. Pretty cool. She uses it to travel in time. Do we want one of those? I think we could use one of those. And finally, how about this prop right here? Hey, that's two props. I remember making those props recently. That's right. Those two props are the Orb and Scepter from Frozen. We do like that show. Hey, where'd they go? Weird. All this magic. It's everywhere. Well, great job, everybody. And Tomato, and all you friends at home, you figured out a lot of those props. There are all kinds of great games that you can play with props. And you know, all you need is an object, right? Something to be that what? To play these games, you'll just need a simple object from your house, like a cup, huh, or you could use a sock, huh, or maybe you've got a plate hanging around. This one's paper, I guess. It's kind of amazing how these props just keep appearing from nowhere. Look around. Humans collect a lot of little objects. You've got something. Go find it. I'll hang out. Where'd my plate go? Guess I'll go find something else. So, to play the props game, you could get a friend or family member who lives with you, like, a, you know, a person, or in my case, rough, a dog or a goat. Or, if you want, you can just do this all by yourself. You have a ton of imagination. Use it. Ruff. So the first game is called simply the props game. So all you need is a basic object. Ready? Prop. Huh. Like a spoon. Ruff. Hey, you're right, Ruff. That spoon looks like it has your picture on it. Ruff. So the object of the game is to pretend that the object is anything else than what it really is. So what is this again? Spoon. Yes. Ruff. That's a spoon. Yeah, we know it's a spoon. But for our game, it can be anything in the world, but it can't be a spoon. Ready? So, I'm going to pretend, first of all, that this is something. And Ruff is going to guess what it is. I like to sing. Ruff! 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 Is it a microphone? Why, well, yes, it is, Ruff. Good job. Your turn. All right. Ruff, is it a comb? Ruff, actually, it's a brush. Oh, close is okay. Yep, good job. Your turn. Thanks, Ruff. Let's see. Hello? Hello? Tomato? Hey! Ruff, ruff, ruff. Oh, did you figure it out? Ruff, it's a phone! You are right. This is a phone. Good job, Ruff. My turn! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? Um, mm -hmm. <sighs> wow! That's a tricky one, Ruff. I've got so many ideas, I'm not sure. So, I guess I'm going to try something we do in class sometimes. I'm going to say, help me out here, please, Ruff. Ruff! All right. It's a tennis racket. Ah, look, I'm hitting the ball. Hey, that's pretty cool, Ruff. I like it. Your turn. Thanks. Um, let's see. Abracadabra. 
You're right! I was so excited about all the magic today that I decided to turn it into a magic wand. Right! That's fun! I like it! Thanks! My turn? Sure, what you gonna do with it now, Ruff? <laughs> huh. Let's see, Ruff. I think that looks like a funny hat. Ruff, 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 ruff. Yep, it's a hat. Oh, that is hilarious. You're doing a great job with our game today, Ruff. Thank you. Do you think Tomato might want to play? Ruff? Tomato, do you have an idea? Let's see what Tomato wants to do. <laughs> tomato, what is that? It's celery. I'm eating it. Of course you are, Tomato. Maybe we should feed you when we're done filming today. Ruff, ruff. Yeah, and you too, Ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. You're just like Pippi and Betsy. Ruff. Yeah, they like to eat all the time too. Ruff, you took Tomato's spoon. Ruff. Oh, not cool, man. Hey, you know what is cool? Playing games. Speaking of cool, I've got another game idea for you. But first, we'll need a different prop. Should we say goodbye to this one? Ruff. All right, ready? Huh. Where'd it go? Our next game is called the Attributes Game. You know, we were talking about how things were cool. In this game, we're gonna talk about something that's hot. Have you ever played hot potato? This is a little bit like that. First, we're gonna need to summon another random object from out of the air. Ready? Magic prop. Hey, that looks like that cup that Mortimer was playing with the other day. Ruff. Do you want to watch me try this one? Ruff. Okay. So an attribute is something that describes the condition of an object, kind of like a hot potato. But I'm not going to grab a real hot potato for our game, because that would not be comfortable or safe to hold. So all you need is to find an object nearby that you can comfortably hold in your hand and hold a lot of different ways probably, so you can try on lots of things. So. We've got our magically appearing cup. Let's see. Can we pretend it's hot? Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's hard to hold. I tried holding it with my, oh, my shirt sleeve is hot too. Oh, okay. I'm going to change the attribute. Now the cup is enormously big. Wow, that is huge. Oh my goodness. Can I show that it weighs a lot? Can I show that it's big by moving my arms apart? And don't forget this part. You can use your eyes to show how big or small an object is when you're pretending. Wow. Now let's pretend that our cup is sticky. Ugh. Ugh. My hands are sticking to it. Ugh. 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 It's really sticky. Now let's pretend it's very cold. Ooh, this is a little like it being hot. Isn't that interesting? Cold, 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 cold. Don't want this. Oh, don't get ah, burr. Let's change it up. We're gonna pretend our cup is really smelly. Oh, ew. Bleh. Oh, stinky. Oh, gross. I don't like the way that smells at all. Now let's pretend our cup is worth a lot of money. Wow, I need to be very careful with this. I should make sure I don't break it. Hold it carefully. Would you like to see it? It's very expensive. Very fancy. Oh, now my cup is squishy. Ew, squish, 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 squish. Oh, that's kind of fun. Squish, squish, squish. Now, let's pretend the cup is see-through and I can see right through it like it's made of glass. That's called being transparent. Wow, I'm gonna look through my cup at all the cool things. 
Hi, tomato. Hi, puppets. Hi, birch girl bobcats. <gasps> Hi, rough. Oh, that's a fun one. I like looking through my cup. Now let's pretend the cup is your favorite toy. Oh, I'm so glad I have you. I've had this toy since I was little and it's my favorite and I love to play with it. Oh, I'm just gonna hold it and keep it special. It's my favorite thing. Oh, now we'll pretend the cup is alive. Wow, that's kind of interesting. It's moving. <laughs> it's cute. Boop. And look at, look at, look, it's alive. <laughs> it wants to play with tomato. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that yep, must be silly. Oh, let's see. What else can we pretend? Can we pretend that it's teeny tiny? Where'd my cup go? It's so little. I can hardly see it. Huh. It's really tiny. I'm trying to find it. That's really weird. Huh. Let's pretend the cup is lighter than air and it's just floating away. Oh, I guess it floated away. Well, that was a really fun game. Thanks for trying on all those different attributes of a prop. That's a pretty great game to play. And you can play it like by yourself, like I did, or you can pass it to other people who are near it. And that's a fun way to play too. Thank you for playing the attributes game with me. I bet you could think of some really cool different attributes you could play with your prop. And now, my artist actors, it's time for a bobcat challenge because you know what's really fun? making props. Today, we pretended some props were different things, which is a really fun way to use props. But another neat thing is to create props using things you have around your place. Can you think of a prop that you want to make? Maybe if you think of a character from a favorite show or a movie who has something that they use to tell the story, you could make that. Or you could make your own prop to play restaurant or vet center or pretend that you live in a castle. It's fine to find stuff around you, like a fork for playing restaurant. That's a pretty easy one. But my favorite thing, because you might know my secret, I love making art too, is I like to make props like fake food for the restaurant. That way you aren't messing with the family's food. Or you could make a stethoscope so you could listen to Ruff's heartbeat. I bet you could make something like that. Or you could make your very own orb and scepter like Elsa's. That's pretty fun. Some kids who were in the drama room when I was making that know that I basically looked around and picked things off my desk to create that with. So what's around you? Look in the recycling, see what you've got at your house and see what you can make. Ruff! That's right! So after you grab some cardboard or whatever you're going to use and make props, be sure to send us pictures so we can put them up in next week's video. I love to show them off to everybody. I can't wait to play with you back in the drama room again, but for now, let's hang out here. And if you've got a phone or a tablet with a camera, you could point it at this code and then you could sign up to play games with me live in Google Meets. Remember, this code right here, all you need is a camera on your phone or an iPad, just point it at that and it will open up a link so you can sign up. We'll see you next time on Mrs. Holson's Neighborhood. And don't forget, to play.